Hello everyone, this is Seraphira, and welcome back to Citadel, Forge of Fire. Um, I'm taken right back where we left off before. Is that a mana pool? This is a health pool, maybe. Maybe that's what that is. Uh, let's hit O because it wants us to. Crafting. Um, okay, did I open some new crafting or something? Doesn't look like I have anything else special here. What is this? You know, there's no tooltip. I guess you just have to click at reagents, consumables. Weapons. What is it? Does this give us a tip? Plus 5 health, plus 25 mana. Consuming will add fresh buff of 1 mana regen every 30 seconds. Place some creature storage and increase loyalty time by 20 minutes. Okay. A paleo buff of plus 1 health regen every 30 seconds. Raw boar meat. So I'm assuming. I eat raw boar meat. What is elk? Raw elk meat. They all look similar though. So apparently these gloves are considered a weapon. Okay. Um. I don't know. For now, we're just gonna keep moving along this quest line here. Uh, now let's take the fancy new axe of yours, put it in your hand, and let's get spell crafting. Open your spells menu and select the blast. Once your weapon is ready, go give it a few swings. Oh, I need to make salted boar, apparently. Do I need to go get... Okay, so I've got the boar meat. Apparently I need to kill another boar. So let's go back to... Spell book. Trying to see if you could like rotate through it. I don't know if you can have one axe here with spells on it and another axe that doesn't. Okay, so apparently take this, throw it here. I don't know if I want to. Let's go find another boar. Level 13 to 30 and I'm level 5. Like a stump. Oh, oh, this is the camp, huh? Well, what we got going on here? Blood orc. Blood orc. What level we'll do the same what level? Five hundred and eighteen two points, level six, level seven. Uh, 
13 armor, 25 health. Yeah, okay. That's a lot of them. I, I'm guessing they don't like me. They're not very observant. Nope, there they go. Oh, ow! <laughs> Apparently they're not going to chase me. No, there they go. Ooh. No, they're all still coming. Okay, one, two, no, oh, you're still coming. I just, no. Yeah, I'm almost half, oh, more than half dead. <laughs> Sort of force. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's let's go check out that. That red pool and see if it feels us quick. Three. Oh yeah, the ceiling is much faster. Assuming the other one's mana then. Yep. Okay, let's not fight orcs yet. That must have been that enemy camp. Eh, we'll just do some wandering. Oh, there's an orc. There's our orc. Sorry. Yeah, he actually hit me this time. Maybe he was hitting me last time and I just leveled up. Bones, hide, light essence. Okay. Yeah, he must have been hitting me last time when I just leveled up. So I healed right away. That's what I call war meat. Uh, this will cook up really nice over a fire pit. Just have to add a pinch of salt from seashore and bam, salt and board. Alright, another. Yet another quest. Question Forge Wizard. The way that he was to his stomach. Use your knowledge panel to unlock the fire pit found on structure panels under utilities. And this fire pit will be the center of your culinary world. Once you have that unlocked, the fire pit. When you, once you have unlocked the fire pit, you open your building menu. This will show you where and what you have and are able to build. As well as the cost of the structure. I don't want to pretend all the fires. Wizards leave behind, so when you're ready, select the fire pit and place it outside of the shield wall. 
Okay. Um, I don't know. Let's go this way. Sphere of influence and claim ownership over a structure. Okay. Sword chest is always good. Respawn stone, that sounds like a good thing to have. Yeah. This is all level one stuff. So I have no stone stuff to level 20, white marble at 40, ornate at 5, and several different types of torches. Running low on points. Um, just in case I need these three points, let's hold off. So this is B. a lot more exploring later. Is it B? It's red. Why is it red? Uh, Thorn gives you ownership of your structure. Thorn will decay in 16 days without upkeep. After Thorn is decayed, your structure will become abandoned and slowly decay. Uh, repair or replace your throne to keep ownership of your structure. Four piece, okay. What? Okay, that's pretty high. How can I? Yeah, that looks like a rope tape. Check the triangles. Oh, that looks like a square. So how do I get it to go up and down? Looks like I need. 25 wood for it. Supports increasing cost. Um. 
assuming I don't have enough wood. Uh, apparently I did. Now how do I get up there? Yeah, that's... Why would I want it that high? Oh, I see, but that's what the mouse wheel is doing. It's choosing between diagonal and four. Um, hmm. Okay, I have zero wood, and yet I can still put it down. Just try a different keys to see what may raise or lower it. No, not plus and minus. Uh, you think that you'd be able to raise and lower it? Okay, that's nice. What did I... I made a level. Um, let's add some more mana. Okay, so I have this. Some more for some reason it's not letting me put it down. Support column scaffolding. Recycle. Okay, so here's my first structure. Uh, don't know why it's not costing me any 
wood. It did the first one, but for some reason I just can put anything up I want at the moment. I should probably learn how to build some stairs or something. stairs. Wood ropes with trim. Okay. Let's just hold on for now. Uh, let's try to build again. Wood. Stairs. Stairs straight up. Stairs straight down. <laughs> What's the difference? Uh, 90 bend up. 90 bend down. building, except it seemed to be missing here we go okay, again, it says I need wood but apparently I don't So, fire pit placed. Okay, so apparently we're done with this. I should probably put some sort of like respawn thingy here that I can teleport back to, but I think this is what we're going to do for now. So, there's my little beginner hobble. Looks like not bad looking, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see as we go. Uh, let's run back. Again, I don't know why I was able to build all that when I didn't have the materials. I don't know if there's some sort of setting I have on the server. I don't know. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, I am, but <laughs> but I'm not. Um, okay, let's see what the quest is. Uh, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas and we fire. Uh, it's meat from my personal stores. We will use it to craft your challenge. Okay. Raw elk. So he's probably going to want me to cook something. Uh, finally, before you have we leave my company to go into the wild, we'll teach you how to cook some grade A salted elk. Using the raw elk meat and salt, given from the previous test, go to your fire pit and make new salted elk. Okay. Go back to my little... I don't know. It's not really what I would call a hovel. It's actually kind of nice. Maybe it's, we'll just call it my gazebo. Two, three. Raw elk 
meat. And salt. Craft it. Apparently it's just that's what it's doing on its own. It's some magical fire pit and it's crafting. Oh, and apparently Luth just hovers above the fire pit. Because, well, it's magic. Okay. Are we done almost here? There we go. Crafting finished. Interact loot. And take it all. There we go. So, well, that's done. Let's go back and talk to. Dude. His name starts with a J, didn't it? Uh, so I'm going to say you're all on your own now after this, right? Left. No, not a J, an L. Left. Okay. Wow, that salt food elk smells delicious. Uh, you take that with you out in the world. You will need them. Remember, even the plants of Ignis are evil and turn into fantastic recipes. Now, you must go. Spread your wings and forge your own path through Ignis. Okay, so we made three salted elk and I'm going to get three more. Okay, so no more quests, but there is one off in the distance. Where is it? Him again. I guess it's still him, but he just doesn't have a... Now uh, your training is complete. Go beyond the cities and venture into the woods. Okay. So, okay, thank you, Leth. Um, let's check, look at my inventory. Oh, I thought he said he was going to give me three more salted elk. I apparently not. Okay. So... That's it for the tutorial quest, and we've started building. And apparently, my throne is right here. Uh, this is all I've explored of the map. There's all of this stuff to go through here. Um, Bridgestone Spire. Hmm. As you zone in here, you get other things. I mean, there is another quest over here. It's a monolith. I don't know what that is. But there's lots of stuff that still needs to be done as far as exploration and leveling to go. So let's just go back to the, the gazebo. But uh, I think we're going to keep this one short, under 30 minutes, guys. Uh, we did finish the, the tutorial quest. So we've got our first building structure going here. Uh, I guess everything's on one level, and that's why you need stairs. I'm assuming they can go up, because obviously I went up. Probably add more stairs here and build this bigger. I just don't know if I'm going to. I don't know if I can have more than one throne. I don't know. There's things to find out. Uh, but for now, and as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really do hope that you guys are enjoying this. Uh, there's lots of stuff to learn on this one still. Hopefully we can get these magic rooms going soon. I can start crafting those. Uh, and then we can start flying around this place. But for now, I think that's what we're going to call it. Again, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you all next time. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you later.